Hey, it's Mary in Makarowitz, Marmac 3261 on the Glowforge community. Welcome to the unboxing of our pre-release Glowforge 3D laser printer. Here's my buddy John to help me unbox. We took the liberty of slitting the plastic uh, tape and we're going to go for it. All right. I uh, need to move this box here so we can set it down. Let it in. Oh, it smells wonderful. It's nice. It's gleaming. It is solid. You're about to do some amazing things. Go to the app, glowforge.com, from your phone, tablet, or computer. Before you unpack these boxes or do anything else. And that gets you to the user manual. Had that ready to go. And which I had already, thanks to Rita and the Glowforge team, a copy. And I read through it. Really important to do all the safety stuff. Went through that. We're not doing any uh, putting it together or testing it out tonight. This is simply unboxing video and um, the reconnoitering. So that's the first thing to do is get your basic user manual read through it and I'll give you instructions. One of the instructions is to have someone else help you. That it's a two person job getting this out. And it's heavy enough that uh, just getting it in and out of the car is important. Can't stress how important it is to be there personally when your shipper comes in. We have uh, a nice dented in box and here this side corner is bent in. Uh, this shock strip is white. That shock strip on that side is half red. It looks like something rubbed against the whole side of this and actually hit the shock strip because it really marred the, um, the sticker for the warning label. Uh, I posted pictures of that on the, on the forum, so you can check that out and see what I'm talking about. Um, maybe damaged, I don't know. Sorry for Glowforge, and I just got called away. I could not be there when they delivered, so uh, folks helped me out there. Um, so anyway, to be there, to stop, give your camera ready, double check it, look at those shock things. Not Don't know if they're going to do it all. For all the shippers, but I'd say they'd have to do that. Anyway, that would be a lot of speculation. Okay. Nice smell. Get these on. So, <laughs> uh, the, um, the hose clamp was just floating around in this. It was just floating around. And glass looks beautiful, nice metal as I look at it looks good looks good uh, that's the sticker for the paper uh, looks okay anyway we're gonna lift it out show the camera we're gonna put it down and then we'll swap the box out go all the way down on the bottom. <coughs> it's heavy Tilt it, okay. Come on. Tilt it, go to the right. We're good. Alright. Oh, it, it fits perfectly on that thing. I mean, just perfectly. Okay, I got two more. Okay, uh, we have the vent hose thing, that's to come later. And we have some lens cleaning, Zeiss Ecta lens cleaning fluid. Here you go. So we're gonna drop this out. Let's go out that door with this box. We may need it. Well, eventually, eventually we will need it because this is mine to test out. Uh, this isn't mine to keep. And thanks 
for getting the golden chocolate bar. Okay, this is really nice, beautiful, smells great. It's heavy, it's solid. Um, nice, nice glass, nice. Okay, let's move the table, just move it around this way just a little bit. And we can, okay, we're gonna open it. That is a nice solid lid. Okay, just checking out, see. Uh, tube looks intact, looks great. Um, really nice and solid, very clean, smells great. No obviously broken parts, but we'll double check. Again, this is just an unboxing, not a, not a setup. Okay, let's do the crumb tray. So here's the uh, 